Hey guys, how's it going? Shush Commentator here, bringing you guys a new video, and this is my second post on TGNFPS. Uh, very happy and very proud to be part of this channel. But let's just jump right into the topics. Today I want to talk about trick shotters, or my opinion about trick shotters. Now before we actually start, I want to say some stuff about my playstyle so you know uh, from what perspective this is coming from. So first of all, I am a very, very laid-back player. A very defensive or pretty much a camper. I like camping and trying hard. You know, it's just what makes me uh, have fun in the game, and it's also what makes me get better scores. So that's what I do. Alright, so now that we have this out of the way, we can just get started with the video. So let's start with the negatives or the things that I don't really like about trick shotters, and then we'll move on to the positives because, yes, there are some. So let's just get started with the biggest one is that they took over the search and destroy game mode. If you ever try to play search and destroy, you will see a trick shotter in the game 100%. And maybe you might get lucky and not see one, but that usually never happens. You will always see trick shotters in the game when you play search and destroy. So now what this means is that I can't play search and destroy anymore. When I try to play search and destroy, I get trick shotters on my team and on the other team. And usually what happens is that I get the worst trick shotters on my team, uh, usually the other trick shotters noob too for the beginning and then for the final kill came they switch to snipers So I usually die and I just can't play search and destroy anymore uh, I came with model for two it was a beast game mode and the awesome game mode But now I just can't play it anymore All right, so now let's just move on to the second topic and we'll start off with a true story that happened to me Maybe two weeks ago So I was playing a domination game and terminal of course and I got around uh, 100 kills and under 7 deaths, which is amazing. Now, here's a catch. I was playing with trick shotters in the domination game. And it's already annoying enough, and it's already, you know, pretty bad that we can't play search. But now it's also called a domination. That kind of sucks. And, you know, I got 100 kills. I was playing against trick shotters. Luckily, on my team, I had my friends. But I was playing against trick shotters, which meant that I couldn't upload their gameplay. Well, I could've, but it wouldn't look too good because killing people spinning around doesn't look too amazing. And yes, I know you could say, well, you wouldn't get 100 kills if it wasn't against trick shotters. And yes, I know that's pretty true. But still, I would probably get a good score because I was playing on Terminal, which is one of my favorite maps. And also, it wasn't all just trick shotters. I was also playing three other guys. So there was three trick shotters, so there were three trick shotters, and three regular guys. So I would have had maybe a 70 kill game, if, or maybe a 70 or 50 kill game, if I was only playing those regular guys and not the trick shotters, which is still a good game, and I would probably upload it. But because I was playing against trick shotters, and even just having two trick shotters on the team, or in my case three, that could ruin the gameplay, wasting your time, wasting hard drive space, well that's not really such a problem. Alright, so let's stop bashing trick shotters, now let's go into the positive parts, because yes, there are some of them. So first of all, it's original. Tryharding has been around since the first Call of Duty came out, and camping has been around for forever pretty much. And now trick shotting is this brand new thing that only started less than a year ago, which is nice. And when I was pretty bored with Model for 2, I had nothing to do, you know, Rushing was annoying, I didn't really like rushing. Camping was starting to get boring. So then I said, you know what, I'm just gonna try trick shotting and see, see how it works. And I was pretty bad at it, but you know, I, I was alright, I guess. But it pretty much made Battle for 2 a lot funner because I had something to do, I had a video game to play. And then the trick shotting was getting like older, harder, or like very complicated. I went back to Cut 4 and Black Ops. And, you know, I kind of took a break from Modern for 2, and then when I came back, I started playing Modern for 2 again. And it was, you know, fun and all good. So I guess trick shotting is original, and I guess it's a way to take a break from your usual playstyle and do something else. If you're bored with the game, you might want to try trick shotting, or just play uh, some other games. Uh, that's all I can say, pretty much. Now, the second thing is, is that there's no exact way to play Modern for 2 or any Call of Duty game. See, there's no instruction all that says, well, you can't do this, you can't camp, you can't rush, you can't trick shot, you can't do all that stuff. Yes, maybe Activision didn't intend uh, Modern for 2 to be a trick shotting game or to think about 
people trick shotting, but you know they don't tell us how we should play the game. And also the trick shotters, they buy Modern for two. They maybe pay for Xbox Live if they're their Xbox. They pay for the console. They pay for the controller, the TV, and all that stuff. So they can pretty much play the game however they want. It's their game, their character. They can do whatever they want, right? So that is just my take on trick shotting. I also made a video about this for my channel, but I wanted to kind of redo it because it wasn't too good, and I also wanted TGNFPS to see this video. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to TGNFPS. And if you want more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. Alright, guys, I'm Drew's Commentator, and I'm out. Peace.